Hello, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. I'm Mr. Viperfang, and last time... We made our way to the Temple Ruins, where the Temple of Seasons used to be, and we navigated a maze of sorts to make our way back to Sabrosia, then to the Temple Ruins, and then to Sabrosia again. And now we're here. So, without further ado, let's go on ahead and start the Level 8 Dungeon. Sword and Shield Maze. And it's kind of a lengthy dungeon. It may take me a while, so I have no idea if I'm going to be splitting up this dungeon into two videos or not. I try to keep the length down to less than 30 minutes, but if it turns out to be 30 minutes, then I don't know. It may be two videos, it may not be. I'm hoping I don't have to make it two videos. Alright, we made it all the way over there to get a key. Let's navigate these whiz robes, and... Man, those bats aren't very annoying today. Oh, great. Slippery floors. Go away. Oh, hey. Hearts. Thank you for the hearts. I'm just gonna shoot sword beams at these guys, because they don't seem to go away from the sword beams. Nope, I missed. By a pixel. There we go. Alright, I've got just the tool for the slippery f for the ice, so... Yeah. Snowshoe ring! You can only have it if you have a linked game, but this thing works wonders against ice. And it's good to know that the sword beams still only do one point of damage. Alright. I need to get the magnetic ball up there. And that's gonna take some bombs. I don't think the magnet ball can break the block, so yeah. Alright, suddenly the difficulty of this dungeon has gone way down. Well, it's good to know if I ever need to get back to max health, I can just come to this room and boomerang some of the sparkly balls. Alright, let's go on ahead and open up this and see what's over to the right. Go away. Damn diglets. Well, I'm not getting past that. Alright, and up here we have bats and snacks. Go away, snack. You had to knock me into the abyss as revenge for killing you. Well, it's a valid strategy. And so is standing on a cracked block, or it's a cracked tile, and there are hands in this room that are gonna grab me, so I don't want to stay in here for very long. Go away. Oh, it's good to know I can take those things out in one hit. I'm gonna see how many fall to get me. Anytime. They're gonna stop anytime. I'm sure of it. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going downstairs. I think they just infinitely spawn. Oh, it wasn't the fire that got me. It was an annoying bat. Oh, hey. Thanks for the damage boost. Damn you. Okay, I didn't even jump that time. There we go. Okay, I'm starting to get pissed off at that. Nope, I'm staying here. There we go. <sighs> Nothing more annoying than damn bats and fireballs that try to kill you. Amazing if I could have gotten that without falling into the lava once. At all. Nope, 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 nope. The bats are pursuing me, but I'm getting out of here. Actually, I didn't know you could jump over those. Neat. There we go. Oh, you're trapped up there. Well, looks like I'm gonna leave you alone for now and see what's up here. Oh, ow. I need my shield. 
All right. Come at me, you little bitch. Come on, ram me, I dare ya. Oh, you're in a spot I can't get ya. Come on, back over here. Thank you. Oh, good. You're not too far from the, from the ice. All right, compass acquired. Let's continue. Go away. Oh, you're trapped over here. Sad for you. All right, please have some more hearts. Dang. You failed to give me more hearts. I feel sad for you. Alright, let's go on ahead and take the lower path first. Because I don't think I can come back. Hmm. Oh god! Aha! It's like I knew what this room's puzzle was. All right, let's see what the owl has to say because I think he has a hint as to what to do in this room. A silent watch may be needed. Basically, don't take any actions in this room whatsoever except moving around and that'll make the armor statue move. So yeah, this room actually frustrated me a lot when I was a kid, now that I think about it. All right, chest up there we're gonna have to get later. Oh, and a chest down here we can get right now. It's a dungeon map! Press select to see what the map looks like. It's a shield. It's a sword. It's a sword and shield dungeon! Amazing how that works out. All right, got one. I'm going to kill you before I move that magnetic ball. There we go. Alright. Let's put you on the switch. Hold. There we go. Come on. Oh, you're not coming after me? I see how it is. Alright, let's see if we can't get onto the other side of this wall here. Oh, and conveniently it uh, spawns over here now. Cool. A fail safe in case uh, you were to get trapped there for some reason. Oh god. All right, you're gone. You know what? Uh, first, I actually thought that hint was pertaining to getting the jinx effect from uh, one of these wisp wisps and then coming into the uh, room over here with it. But it turns out the jinx effect disappears when you go into another room, so that could never have been the answer. All right. Anyway, we're over here now. Cool. Oh god, more wisps. Uh, let's go on ahead and kill these guys. I'm not gonna worry about the, uh, the wisps. I'm not gonna equip the wisp ring, so... Let's just get the hyper slingshot and then get out of here. Oh, and those guys wake up when you get the loot. Cool. Alright. Let's go on ahead and get into an open space and show what this hyper slingshot's all about. Oh. Thank you for pushing me over. I appreciate it. Ooh, there's a key in this room. Oh, and it's probably in that chest. So that means take the wheel and go to the path on the right. Bada boom, small key. All right, let's go on ahead and retrace our steps and head over this way. All right, I think I saw a magnet uh, cylinder over to the right, so yep. We need the magnetic glove to get over here. I'm actually glad that the uh, magnetic glove has a lot of uses in the later dungeons. All right, give me some hearts, thank you. All right. Mr. Owl, what do you have to say about this place? Icy cores make piercing blades. Hmm. Alright, so I assume that comes into effect in the next room. Let's see what happens if I do this. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, that's the thing about uh, using the uh, mystery seats with the hyper slingshot. 
each seed will have its- uh, will have an individual random effect. So one could be the Gale Seed, one could be the Pegasus Seed, and the other could just be Fire. It all depends. I'm gonna get over here and grab this key before I continue downstairs. And I'm also equipping the Wisp Ring because I want to use my sword, damn it. And it's a good thing I can't get damaged by these things or else I would be very mad that I'm losing health at a very rapid pace. All right, you guys are gone. I'm going to continue and hopefully these guys don't annoy me too much. Oh, I had no idea that the Whispering would be very useful in this game. So many places where you can get jinxed. Where it'd be very, very inconvenient. Alright, that's taken care of. Let's see if I can get some more hearts out of these pots. No? Alright, I'm gonna get my slingshot ready. And... Yeah, sure, why not? No sword. Oh. The hint pertains to how to beat the mid-boss. Alright, let's go ahead and use the slingshot on you. Lift this. Use that. Another... Oh, perfect. Oh, dang it. Alright. Yep. You're gonna be annoying. I can already tell. You're gonna be very annoying! Nope. Oh, perfect. Oh, and you go away! Wait for you to move. There we go. Now, granted, I could use Ember Seeds on the, uh, Fire Form. And I think I'm gonna do that to get a little extra damage, uh, put in. Oh, thank you! You running into me finished you off! Way to go, dumbass! <sighs> and that boss can actually get very, very annoying. More annoying than it was when I fought it. All right, so I need to fire ember seeds at these torches, so let's get the bats out of the way so I don't have to make more shots than necessary. Actually, I think they're gonna be out of the way, so... Actually, no, you're not out of the way. All right, I need to do some wandering. Go away. Thank you for the heart, but go away. All right. Let's give this hyper slingshot a nice little test. Good. Good, good. Oh, it's a staircase. All right, there's a chest over there. Oh, it's a nice puzzle. Hmm. I got it. I got it. I screwed up a little bit. Let me try again. A nice staircase to go this way with. Oh, and it's a, uh, it's an ice cave. Or ice catacombs. Aha! Now, without the snowshoe ring, that would be a very annoying room. Oh, God. Okay, that's... That's not fair. Oh, God. Okay. Oh! Ugh. There we go, made it. Actually, I didn't expect to use the rock's cape to fly over it so I didn't fall again. Alright, now we have another room of ice. Oh! It's a shortcut! It's this room. Cool.
Come on. Damn RNG monsters. There we go. Oh, another one of these rooms. Please be in a better spot. There we go. Whew, made it. Oh God, ropes. Oh, and we have this switch, we can which can only be hit by a magical boomerang. Very nice, very nice. Nope. Oh, and Paul's voice. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. I'm gonna go back. A few moments later. Actually, I don't know why I thought I had to go back for something. I guess I'm a little confused at the moment. Alright, I'm gonna go on ahead and just use bomb chews on these guys. Or I can just go down the path that I opened up. I'm... Yeah, I'll just go down this way. Getting my rooms all mixed up. Alright. Oh, damn you for blocking my... sword. One more heart is all I ask for, game. Thank you. Alright. Now to use Bomb Chews on my... on the enemies. Son of a bitch. Thought I could get there before the platform moved out of the way. There we go. Thank you for the regular bombs. I know enemies can't drop the, uh... I know enemies can't drop bomb chews. Oh, boss key! Cool. Alright, so... Go down this way then? Yeah. Alright, and to the left. And down. Oh wait, the chest is over this way, isn't it? Okay. So just go left. Alright, good to know that I can come in here for hearts if I need them. And another hint owl. And a bomb wall. Baboosh! Alright, what's in here? Oh. Okay. All right. All right, so that's what I thought. This little path is going to be random every time. Shoot. Okay, I got it. Whew. Yeah, that room has a random pattern every time. I think it's like every visit to the dungeon, it changes. Uh, let me go on ahead and talk to you first. I feel- I have a feeling it has something to do with the ice that I picked up. The magical ice freezes all. Alright, so that's what I thought. Alright, let's go on ahead and take you and, uh, see where I can go with you. Ooh. So, I assume I just throw you in here. And it freezes everything down there. Alright, well, we can walk on lava now, and get to a lot of good places to get closer to the boss. Right, well, thank you for the heart, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna wait to go down until I have more places, uh, covered in ice. Come on, get in there. It's good to know that I can actually carry this with me. And just let the minecart do all the killing. Oh god. Let me go on and set you down real quick. Looks like I'm gonna need multiple keys. I'm gonna come back for this one a little later. I'm gonna go down this way so I can pop this ice into that uh, hole right there. There we go. And there's the boss door over on the left there. And we have another room covered in solid lava. Hardened lava. Rich in nutrients, but can't access the nutrients unless it is chilled. Alright. Or minerals, not nutrients. My god, what am I thinking? I'm not a Goron. Alright, 
Looks like I'll need to head down there temporarily to find a key, so yeah. Let's grab some ice and then toss it into that uh, hole and then we'll go downstairs, I guess. Eh. There we go. Lava, lava hole number three is clogged now. Oh, and look, another lock block. What happens if I fall down? Oh, it it's treated as an abyss. Okay. All right, let's go on ahead and find a staircase then. None over here, none over here. So the only staircase is down this way. Hooray. All right, looks like I'll need to find a staircase down here to which will allow me to access another treasure chest. Small key. Let's try up here. Yeah, there's a staircase right there. Let's see if I can get to it. Right, what about over here? Oh, you're clogged up as well. Cool. Oh, thank you for the fairy. I didn't really need it, but it's appreciative. It's appreciated. Go past the Armo statues. I'm pretty sure they're Armo statues. And look, we can actually access the, uh... That was stupid of me. There we go. Let's get those guys out of the way before I crack open this chest. All right, I think that's the last small key we're ever gonna need for this dungeon. Let's head back downstairs and continue on our merry little way. Yep, there are more statues, all right. All right, let's see what else is down here. Oh, there's more lava. All right, good to know that each uh, lava uh, waterfall is sectioned off. All right. Actually, I'll go up the stairs. Boop. Oh, good, Bemo, so I can actually test out my mirror shield properly. Come on, fire at me. Aha! That hit me directly and I didn't take any damage. Oh, there's a, uh... There's a minecart over here. Nope. Alright, at least I got the door open, so let's go ahead and keep exploring downstairs. Let's see if I can find a minecart, which will allow me to traverse more things. Oh, there's one over here. Ugh. I feel like I'm missing a chest at the beginning of the... Hey, ten bombs. I feel like I'm missing a chest at the beginning of the dungeon. Ah, here's the hole. And there's the minecart. So we have access to the last uh, hole. All right, let's go on ahead and ride the minecarts. There we go, got that one set up. I think I have to go back downstairs and get to the other one. Man, this is all confusing. All right, um, yeah, here we go. I think I have it all set up to where I can actually get the ice to where it needs to go now. Nice short trip over here, and now all of the lava has been frozen. So majestic to see. All right, we should have everything taken care of. All right. I'm gonna double check the map and then I will head into the boss. Yep, that's what I thought. It's near the entrance, so I think I'll pick it up after I'm done taking care of the boss. So let's go on ahead and open things up. Get away from the, uh. Hmm, Pegasus seeds. Pegasus thief. 
I have a feeling that's a hint as to how to beat the boss. Alright, so get some pigs of seeds ready, I guess. Alright. I'm also gonna equip the power... the red ring to beat this thing a lot faster. Is that a Medusa head? Oh, wow. Oh, God. Uh... I think that's very bad. Oh wow, I don't even need to freeze you. That was... My god, my power level is extremely high. There were attacks that I didn't even see. Uh, I'm just gonna unequip it. Yeah, um, I was doing six times the normal damage of the level one sword. So, yeah. There was one attack we didn't see. And it's where that Medusa head uh, sweeps across the room with uh, eye beams. Also, those blue uh, energy orbs turn you to stone, so don't get hit by them. But at any rate, we got the changing seasons, an essence of nature. Scattered seeds sprout in spring, grow in summer, bear fruit in fall, and sleep through winter. It is an endless cycle of life, the changing seasons. Alright, that's all of the dungeons. Well, I'd be saying that if it weren't a linked game, we still have the Hero's Cave to take care of. But, that's not going to be in this video. Also, I still have uh, one more thing I need to take care of. Link, you already have all eight... You have already had the eighth essence. The changing seasons have filled me with my former power. I have something to give you now, so come see me. All right, let's go in and get that thing real quick. Can't believe I forgot to get this thing. All right, uh, cape? Yeah, that's three squares. All right, it's a ring. That's everything in this dungeon. Let's get the hell out of here and end things off. All right, that's... That's gonna do it, so next time, we're gonna head over to the Hero's Cave and take care of that. Later!